please is this sentence correct i was to come today so please is this correct i was to come today so let's find out if it can also serve as a grammar checker if it does that very well to you but i'm sorry <laughs> The answer it's giving us is no, the sentence is not correct. It should be written as I was supposed to come today. Guys, come on. Come on. Hi, my name is Sam Fingerboss and you're welcome to Sam Fingerboss Academy. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can replace Quillbot with ChatGPT. That is, you will stop paying subscription fee for Quillbot and use ChatGPT to do all the work that Quillbot does for you. So if this is something that you're interested in, let's dive in. So first I would like us to see what Quillbot can do that will better guide us through the process. So basically Quillbot is a paraphrasing tool and for you to paraphrase a long test, you need to pay a huge amount of money to be able to paraphrase a long test. But if you don't want to pay money, you can actually paraphrase it bit by bit. So you will keep copying 120 words and then paste it. You copy another 120 word, you paste it. You know, it can be very stressful. And if you don't want that, you will now have to pay. But thank God ChatGPT is here. I'm going to be showing us how to do all these things with ChatGPT and you won't have any need to pay for Quillbot anymore. But first, let's look at the pricing for the Quillbot so that we can best understand how much ChatGPT is saving us. Look at the pricing for Quillbot Premium. So Quillbot Premium per annum is built at $49. That's about $50, right, per annum. Semi annum, it's built at $39. That's about $40. Um, monthly is billed at $10. That's $9.95. Now, this is the amount of money that ChatGPT is going to be saving you. It's totally free to use. And you can do the same thing that you want to do on Quillbot in ChatGPT and you are good to go. So without further ado, let me show you how to use ChatGPT to replace Quillbot completely and use all the money that you would have spent on Quillbot to chop life. <laughs> all right, let's quickly test Quillbot to see how it works. And then we can now move over to ChatGPT. So here is an article that I just opened about affiliate marketing, affiliate marketer, definition, examples, and how to get started. So let's say we are writing an article about affiliate marketing or we want to write a book on affiliate marketing. Of course, we're going to be using paraphrasing tools. If we're going to be needing any information on the internet, you can use it like that because you're going to be charged for plagiarism. So that is why we need to paraphrase and hence, why they created the tool Quillbot. So here is the article, Understanding Affiliate Marketing. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this text. And I hope it's more than 125 words. So let's go to Quillbot. This is Quillbot. And all I have to do is to copy paste here. And as you can see, it's more than 125 words. It's actually 215 words. But it, when I hit paraphrasing tool, something amazing is going to happen. So here you see what happened. It took out 125 words out of the 215 words and paraphrase the 125 words, right? So if I want to do this again, I have to find where this one stopped and then hit paraphrase again and keep doing that, you know, keep copying and pasting, which is going to take a lot of time. So, but you can see it paraphrased it nice and clean. But if we take the same text and go to ChatGPT, for instance, and use the keyword paraphrase this, then you paste the text that we copied we paste it and then hit enter. Two seconds later. So here you can see that it has paraphrased this text completely. And you can see it's quite different from this. You can see how long this is. I don't want to waste your time. So I don't want to read all these things. It's going to take your time. Uh, I respect your time a lot. But you can try it on your own time and then go through it and see if it makes sense. But from what I'm seeing here, it makes absolute sense. So again, you can hit on try again. That is one of the things that I love about ChatGPT is conversational. So now it has given us another variation and it's perfect. It's perfect like this. So we're not only going to be looking at the paraphrasing tool, we're also going to be looking at the grammar checker, the Quillbot summarizer. So all these things are things that we're going to be trying out with ChatGPT and see what happens and we can completely say goodbye, fare well to Quillbot. The next thing we want to do is to go back to Quillbot and check for any other thing that it does. I think it does um, summarize So what we are going to do now is to ask ChatGPT to summarize this text for us. And it's gonna go ahead and do that. Please summarize this. So now you can see it has summarized it. And this is the second thing that Quillbot can do that ChatGPT has done for us for free. So we're going to try the third one and that is Grammar Shaker. So we're going to go ahead and type 
one crazy grammar here and see if he's going to check it if he's wrong or right. Please is this sentence correct? I was to come today. So please, is this correct? I was to come today. So let's find out if it can also serve as a grammar checker. If he does that, fairly well to you, but I'm sorry. <laughs> the answer it's giving us is no, the sentence is not correct. It should be written as I was supposed to come today. Guys, come on, come on, come on. What is going on here? Come on. <laughs> I was supposed to come today and he gave us another variation. I was supposed to be here today. In this first sentence was supposed to indicate that the speaker had a plan or expectation to come that day but something may have prevented them from actually doing so. In the second sentence, was supposed to be means that the speaker was expected to be present at a particular place at a specific time, but it's not clear if they actually were there. I'm beginning to be scared of this chat GPT because I don't understand how he knows that first, this grammar was wrong and then he's breaking it down for me to understand it perfectly well why the grammar is wrong and how I can write it the next time and it's giving me two variations of the same sentence that I sent to it. Can you imagine that? And this is one thing that Quillbot cannot do for you. It doesn't have this kind of conversational functionality. Can you, can you beat that? Now let's see more things that Quillbot can do and try it out on ChatGPT. Now we have done the paraphrasing, we have done the grammar checker, we have done, I think in my previous video, if you have not watched it, please go and watch it, it's right here and learn how you can write a complete book with ChatGPT. If you have not watched it, please go here right now to click Click on it and watch it, of course, after this video. By the way, if you're still here up until now and you have not liked this video, please go ahead and like the video so that more people can see it and benefit from it. Thank you very much for doing that. You can see Summarizer, we have also achieved that with ChatGPT. So the only thing that we have not done is citation generation. So let's see if it can do that as well. Please, can you generate a citation for this? two seconds later please can you generate a citation for this and you can see i am sorry but i am unable to generate a citation for you citations are used to give credit to the sources of information that you use in your writing so here you can see that ChatGPT cannot generate citation and that is for obvious reason that is not connected to the internet that is it doesn't search the internet for any information so whatever information is outputting for you is information that is generated by itself and there's no way you can source that to another person, right? Uh, so that makes sense. So that is the only thing that you can not do with ChatGPT as regards to all the services that Quillbot offers. But then since you're writing original content, <laughs> since you're going to be writing original content, you don't need any citation. And if you're going to need any citation for whatever reason, it's something that you can easily do by yourself because if you can pull text from somewhere and for instance if i say i want to do citation for this particular article that we use for this tutorial all i have to do is to go back here and cite you know do citation for this because this is where i lifted this up from so if i want to do citation and i don't want to do paraphrasing i just want to use some part of the article and i already know where i lifted it up from so all i need to do is to ask ChatGPT to please summarize this for me then i personally add the citation from this place that it's this place that i copied it from it doesn't have to be done by a bot or ai so for me personally i'm going to be giving ChatGPT 99 over 100 and quillbot of course you know ChatGPT has completely run them out of the market. So let me know what you think. I want you to tell me in the comment section what you think about this. Do you think ChatGPT has completely replaced Quillbot? Do you think that this is a successful test? Also, let me know in the comment section if you think that ChatGPT is going to ruin a lot of businesses, is going to kick a lot of businesses off the market. Because from what I'm seeing here, from the pattern I'm seeing, from the things I can come up with that I can use ChatGPT for, are things that I originally paid for in the past, but now I no longer pay for them. So that is one customer lost. And if we have a thousand of us, that's 1000 customer lost. And if we have a million of us, that's 1 million customer lost because why pay for something? And now ChatGPT is free. And you remember I copied 215 thereabout words straight to ChatGPT and it was able to paraphrase it for me without any restriction. But on QBots, it can only do 125 at a time. So 
I mean, it's it, ChatGPT is free and it does that smoothly and faster. So it's going to save me a whole lot of time, assuming that I'm using the free version of Killbot. So now I can copy the entire internet and put it on ChatGPT and ChatGPT is going to paraphrase it for me and I go ahead and move on with my life without having to be copying 125 words, 125 words. No, it's crazy. So I recommend that you watch this video next so that you learn how you can make up to $5,000 from the comfort of your home without doing anything serious just with your phone or your computer and nothing else.